Hey, it's John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com and we're doing something a little bit different today because my chiller's broke. Well, it's not really broke, but this fitting right here, point to it, you're the, you're the spokes model, I think? Yes, okay. inbound, inbound. <laughs> inbound, the inbound uh, fitting is loose on the copper coil. And so when I try to chill and you know, push water through that, it comes out the backside like that. So I brought it over here to Studio B, brew-dudes.com, Studio B, sort of do a, I don't know, a very close up of how we can fix this particular pro problem. So if you run into it, you can do the fix at home. So Mike, why don't you uh, do the diagnostics of uh, this particular issue? All right, so the way, the way these things work, because this is just all screwed together. These are threaded fittings all the way through here. This isn't actually like welded or soldered on here. Um, they actually use what's called a compression fitting. Copper is fairly soft. So they usually put a collar around the copper behind this nut. Uh, it's in front of this nut. And when these two pieces, this nut and this nut sort of are tightened together, it squeezes that collar down onto the tubing, creating a watertight seal. So at some point, it just kind of probably from having the hose on it and stuff like that or getting moved around we all do it we grab our chair like this um, it, it, it can just come loose so um, we broke this free with a wrench already just so we could look in here but this fitting just comes off of here like this and just for the record too you can see that these tight threads this is what's called uh, um, pipe threading and then this is actually garden hose thread you can see that those threads are actually significantly bigger and wider than those and it actually matches what's inside so it's garden hose threads just in case you're ever wondering but if you look inside here like this i can't push this back all the way but inside there is a, another brass um ferrule in there it's, it actually sits like it's like a, a ring almost looks like a, a ring you'd wear on your finger that sits around this tubing so what has to happen is i, I gotta get this pushed back all the way and then there's the ferrule. We need to get a new ferrule that's the size of this tubing. This is uh, probably like, I don't know, this is not half inch, so this must be 3 8 tubing. Uh, we just got to get that fitting on there. And then when we put it all back together and we screw it back together tight, um, you can see this surface is kind of like rounded over. It's not like a perfect square. It kind of dips inside there. It's rounded. And when that goes in there and mates with the ferrule, um, it'll tighten back down and create another watertight seal. So that's basically all that we have to do to this we might have to cut the tubing back a little bit in order to get that ferrule off but that's that should be the fix we tighten it back up it should be pretty good okay well thank you for that now uh fix now my chill we, <laughs> we gotta go do it okay so this is what a uh the ferrule that sits inside the fitting looks like it's like a ring with a flat middle and two tapered edges. All right, so that's how when the fitting gets drawn together with the threads, it kind of champers up that that angle and forces the ring to tighten down on the copper tubing. So these things are called uh, compression sleeves. Um, this one's much bigger. This is a 5 8 one because for I, my chiller is a half inch. So what we really need here if we want to replace those is a 3 8 compression sleeve. So that would just go in there. We probably have to cut this back a little bit, maybe actually break free the solder joint here and go in here and then get a tubing bender to get a nice 90 degree angle like is on this one. But um, but another thing to try last minute because we didn't have any 3 8 inch sleeves, I only have 5 8 um, is we actually put the wrenches on here and really tightened it down and we just tested it with the water outside. You can see that there's no play in this anymore before it wobbled a little bit. Um, so that one's really tight and we've checked it with the water. There's no more water squirting out of there. So sometimes you can get away with that with the compression sleeves. You just tighten it down a little bit. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who are plumbers and know a lot more about this than I do. But um, you can over tighten these things. So you need to be prepared to come in with a tubing cutter. Let me just show you what a tubing cutter looks like just for kicks. A tubing cutter. So you just this goes on the tubing and you tighten it down a little bit. And this little wheel is a cutting wheel. You spin it around once or twice, then you tighten a little bit more and spin it around. And you get a really nice clean cut on the tubing. And then we would put on this new nut back here, a compression sleeve, and then fit it all back together. That's how that would work. But we, we got lucky here. We didn't have to do it there. In fact, we got this one so nice and tight that when we ran water through it, we started to get leaks on this side. <laughs> so we've tightened this one up too. And um, you, 
you know this the threads are way in there now they're a little bit further out before but so sometimes you can get away with that tighten them down but if you over tighten compression sleeves brass is kind of soft copper is kind of soft you can overdo it so uh, you just got to watch out for that then it'd be a bigger repair but that's how we fixed john's chiller nice this day in plumbing on brewdashtoots.com yes. <laughs> well that's it i just wanted to see what we could do and fix this but uh hopefully this uh helps you out if this if you ever run into this problem here are some things you need to do to fix your fittings on your chiller john and mike brewdashtoots.com brew on chill on chill on